gonna show you how to diagnose a car that has a bad fuel pump. And you might wonder why there's an umbrella up here. And that's because it's raining and it's gonna get cold. That's my little shed. These beach umbrellas work great if you're working in bad weather. Now this Jag was towed over to me because it just cranks and it won't start. And a customer told me that it keeps dying out on them and it would start back up, but it's been dying out and now it won't start at all, which is often a sign of a bad fuel pump. So the first thing I did was check all the fuses to make the fuel pump fuse wasn't blown. But when I checked all the fuses, the metal was continuous in them, so none of them were blown. And when I went in the back seat and pulled it out, as I cranked the engine, there was power going to the fuel pump and ground. The power wire shows full voltage. And the ground wire shows full ground. The pump was getting all kinds of power. It's just not working. But you always want to make sure so. Here's the fuel test pressure port on the jag on the top of the engine. We'll just screw on this fuel pressure gauge checker. You can get one of these sets at AutoZone or any place for 29, 30 something bucks. It's a good thing to have because they fit all cars. Then once it's all hooked up, you crank the engine. And as you've seen, it has zero pounds pressure, so that means the fuel pump isn't working at all. By checking the fuse and the wires in the back that go to the pump, we know it's getting power, we know it's grounded, so we know the pump just isn't any good. Now in the case of the Jag, the fuel pump's hidden inside the gas tank. So you have to remove the gas tank, but the idiots that designed this car put the gas tank on, then they put the subframe under it, so you have to remove the entire subframe of the car to get the gas tank out to change the fuel pump. So that turns this fuel pump replacement in this Jaguar into about a thousand dollar job, no lie, a thousand bucks to put a fuel pump in this Jaguar. And since it's starting to rain, and I really have no interest in pulling the entire back suspension of a car and frame off to change a fuel pump, I'm sending it to a guy who specializes in that stuff and has an indoor jack and does them all the time. And such expensive repairs are pretty typical for Jaguars. If you don't want to spend money fixing cars, don't buy a Jaguar. <laughs> now the owner of this Jag, hey, he only paid 4500 bucks for it used anyways, because they do have low resale value. So once he fixes it, he's just going to sell it on to the next owner. He's tired of himself. So you've learned two things. How to diagnose if a fuel pump is bad, and why you shouldn't buy a Jaguar. And remember, if you have any car questions, just visit the Scotty Kilmer channel. And I'll answer them as soon as I get done talking with this dolphin.